American singer, songwriter, musician, and businessman Jimmy Buffett has died. He battled skin cancer for years before his death. Jimmy Buffett was best known for his songs, Come Monday, Cheeseburger in Paradise. He went to Paris, one particular harbor, and Margaritaville. He built the latter into a brand that encompassed restaurants, clothing, and more. He was one of the most successful and richest musicians in the world. His worth was estimated at $1 billion, according to Forbes. Jimmy Buffett passed away peacefully, surrounded by his family on the night of September 1st, 2023, at the age of 76. He is survived by his wife and three children. One of the best TV presenters, Bob Barker, passed away at his Hollywood Hills home on August 26, at age 99. The cause of death was Alzheimer's disease. Bob Barker was best known for hosting two popular game shows, The Price is Right, and Truth or Consequences. His career spanned 63 years. He received 19 Emmy Awards including Lifetime Achievement Award, received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and was inducted into the Television Hall of Fame. American singer Steve Harwell passed away at his home, surrounded by family and friends, on September 4, 2023, at the age of 56. He was the former lead singer of the American rock band, Smash Mouth, known for their songs, Walking on the Sun, I'm a Believer and all-star. He retired from the band in 2021 due to physical and mental health issues. American musician and composer Gary Wright passed away on September 4, 2023. He was 80 years old. The cause of death was Lewy body dementia and Parkinson's disease. Gary Wright was best known for his songs, Dreamweaver and love is alive. He also was a member of the British blues rock band, Spooky Tooth, for seven years. One of the most popular American professional wrestlers, Wyndham Rotunda, died of a heart attack on August 24th at age 36. He was best known for performing in world wrestling entertainment from 2009 to 2021 and from 2022 until his death. He performed under the ring names Husky Harris and Bray Wyatt. Music industry legend Clarence Avant died on August 13th at age 92. He furthered the careers of numerous entertainers as well as some athletes and politicians. He worked with everyone from Snoop Dogg and Michael Jackson to Bill Withers and Jim Brown. For his talent and his work, he earned the nickname the godfather of black music, and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Las Vegas stand-up comedian Michael Paul Cathers, better known as Geechee Guy, passed away on September 7, 2023, at the age of 59. His career spanned 40 years, from 1983 to 2023. Local New York One News anchor Russell Boone passed away on September 3rd at the age of 48. The cause of death was cancer. American politician Bill Richardson died on September 1st at age 75. He was former New Mexico governor. Bill Richardson also served in Congress as ambassador to the United Nations and as energy secretary in the Clinton administration. American television host, Carol Duvall, passed away at a retirement home on July 31st at age 97. She was best known for hosting The Carol Duvall Show from 1994 to 2005. American jazz and traditional pop singer who won 20 Grammy Awards, Tony Bennett died after a seven-year battle with Alzheimer's disease on July 21st, 2023, at the age of 96. He was known for his songs such as I Left My Heart in San Francisco, The Way You Look Tonight, The Good Life, and Stranger in Paradise. His career spanned 85 years from 1936 to 2021. In 1960, Tony Bennett received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. 
In 1997, he was inducted into the Big Band and Jazz Hall of Fame. Canadian musician, guitarist, and songwriter for Canadian-American group, The Band. Robbie Robertson passed away surrounded by his family on August 9, 2023, after a year-long battle with cancer. The band's most famous songs are The Wait, The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down, Acadian Driftwood, and It Makes No Difference. American musician, singer, and songwriter Randy Meisner died on July 25th at the age of 77. He was a founding member of one of the most successful bands in history, Eagles, known for their songs, Hotel California, The Last Resort, Take It Easy, and Take It to the Limit. Legendary American film director, producer and screenwriter William Friedkin passed away on August 7th at age 87. He was best known for directing films such as The Exorcist. The French Connection, Cruising, and The Guardian. British assistant director and film producer who worked on many popular films, including the Harry Potter films and Marvel Cinematic Universe films, Jamie Christopher died on August 29th at age 52. American country music singer and songwriter Charlie Robeson died on September 10th, 2023, at the age of 59. He was best known for his songs, New Year's Day, My Hometown, Loving County, and Big City Blues. American Hall of Fame recording executive Jerry Moss passed away at his home on August 16th at the age of 88. He co-founded one of America's leading independent record labels. A and M Records. American jazz saxophonist and pianist Charles Gale died on September 7, 2023, at age 84. American news correspondent and anchor who worked for Cable News Network International, Felicia Taylor, died on September 8, at age 59. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button to receive more like it in the future.